Hi Cancer, this is a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs. Or you can get a personal reading. And if you do want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. Alright, so let's see. Cancer, what is going on mid-April? What are the main energies? All right, we have release and we have conclusion. All right, okay, so that's a pretty strong conclusion here. <laughs> All right, so either something is coming to an end, somebody is releasing someone else um, in this situation, and I feel like something is just really um, coming to a resolution. So let's see what this is about. It could be you or it could be your person. It could be um, between the two of you or it could be concerning somebody else. It might even be a situation that is being released here. Let's see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, so for your energy we have the Six of Swords. The Four of Cups and Strength. All right, so it looks like definitely like you're distancing yourself from, from a situation or from a person here, and it feels like you're just moving away from something that possibly felt like, like it was just very, very um, difficult for you, whatever the situation was. And I feel like you're slowly moving towards a more peaceful state where you're even beginning to feel almost indifferent for some of you. For others of you, you're just like, you know what, I'm, I'm just not going to accept any other offer from this situation. Whatever is coming in, I don't want it. I don't even want to look at it. Um, it doesn't mean that you don't still have feelings or that it's or that it's easy. It's just you're not interested in any offers that are not resonating with you. Um, this is definitely taking a lot of strength and courage for you to do, or it's taken a lot of strength for you to get to this point. I feel like things are a bit easier for you at the moment. Let's see for them. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. All right, so two Aces here. This person is definitely trying to have some kind of a new, a new start, a new beginning. Um, I do see a lot of a struggle with this at the same time and I feel like maybe this person has been trying to have this new this new start or trying to get on a new path for a while now and it's 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 been a struggle so this could be why you are moving away from this all right again the roles um, can be reversed I'm not sure if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video but it could be the other way around all right, but in the way I'm seeing it here is that it's you who is releasing a situation. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the King of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Sun. Okay, wow. That is actually really, really beautiful here. Um, I mean, I don't know. This could be... This could be your person here, but I see this as you, at least, really standing strong in your power and really being determined to go after whatever it is that is best for you, all right, with the sun here. You're, it's like you're just really determined to go after happiness and follow your heart. Let's see, the final message for you here is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so a lot of clarity, and I feel like you're just being very, very firm um, in whatever it is that you decide to do. So let's clarify and get more details here. Cancer, this is this is looking pretty good. I mean, I, I can understand that it can be difficult. It something might feel um, it might even feel a little painful, but it overall it's looking pretty good. I feel like the hardest part is behind you. If this is you who is releasing a situation, so let's start by clarifying the six of swords. All right. The King of Swords, the Four of Cups again, 
which you have right here, and death. You, uh, this is a lot of determinism. Like, I don't know if you can get any more determined. You are very decisive at the moment. I feel like you're, you're thinking very um, clearly. You're trying to think very rationally, very logically about this ending. There's definitely something here that you're ending. I feel like you are transforming in the process and you're just not interested in whatever this person here is trying to offer you at the moment at least. I mean, things could shift. This is just um, the current energy is how you're feeling right now. Either way, I do see you moving towards happiness, as I said. So we'll see. I mean, I do, I do also pick up on a bit of disappointment on your end. It's not like this um, walking away is easy for you, as I've said. It definitely comes with a sense of disappointment. Let's see the Four of Cups. Seven of Cups, the Star, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be, I mean, you might be feeling the way that you're feeling for a number of reasons, right? It's going to be different for everybody. But I feel like this is something that you, that you were holding on to for a very, very long time. I feel like um, things just always seemed, or whatever the issue was, it felt like it was always up in the air. Um, kind of like there was always a sense of uncertainty or confusion when it came to what was going on with this person. For some of you, maybe you felt like you were like you were an option, but at the moment, it's like you want to open up your options. It's like you're not interested in either being an option or in not knowing what is going on with this person. Um, or what's going to happen with whatever it is that was trying to be resolved here. And it's difficult because um, I do get also get the sense that this was something that that you really wanted. Um, I there's also this feeling of maybe in the beginning or recently. Um, you were hoping that this person would actually come after you while you were beginning to become indifferent or beginning to walk away. And I'm not really sure if that happened, but, but I feel like it's happening now, but it's almost like now, it's like you, now you're really not interested. Let's see the strength card. Lovers. The Six of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. All right, yeah, so this is definitely a connection that you were, like I said, you you felt very strongly about, all right? There, there was definitely a strong bond between the two of you or just the energy between the two of you was very intense. And there was a lot of pain, as I said before. I feel like, yeah, you know, this was very difficult. You had a lot of pain with whatever it is that was going on. But you're in the process of balancing that out now. You're standing very, very strong here. Let's see what's going on with them. Let me see the Ace of Pentacles because I, it almost feels like they, they're making an offer to you, at least on an energetic level, or they're thinking about it. All right, yeah, see, they're thinking about it. The Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Swords and the Five of Cups. So. They're stalling. They're wanting to make this new offer, trying, wanting to find a practical solution to whatever the situation was or whatever the issue was. But I feel like they're currently not really acting on it. Um, I do see that they're moving in that direction, though, having the Ace of Swords here. But I feel like at the moment they're not really acting on it. They're just thinking a lot about it, not being able to make a decision whether they should or shouldn't or how. And a part of this is because they're feeling very pessimistic about the situation. There's also a lot of regret here, possibly some guilt, but this person is definitely not feeling very good at the moment. They're, um, I even get that they're missing you here. Let's see the Ten of Wands. All right, 
the Empress, the World, and the Nine of Swords. I did get one more that fell out. Uh, let's see what that was. It was the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Yeah, so you're heavily on this person's mind here, all right? You're showing up here in their energy. Um, they're feeling very burdened by whatever the situation is at the moment, which I feel is you um, closing this out, closing out this um, connection, bringing in a conclusion, the release, all of that, all right? That's represented here by the world. Um, that's stressing them out a lot. I mean, it's very, very clear. They're feeling very burdened by that. I feel like they're feeling actually burdened by their own... Um, behavior, attitude, actions, decisions, whatever the, whatever the situation was for you, all right? They're feeling burdened by that as well as by you now moving away. I feel like this is a person who was not able to really appreciate um, certain things in the connection. It, almost like, you know, they were turning a blind eye um, to what was really going on or to what was um, bothering you if you were together, if you were not then, you know, that's just a different, um, that's just a different situation, okay? Um, but if you were together, I feel like they weren't able to see what the issue was. And it's kind of like, even when you were first walking away, like I said, it feels like, I think that in the beginning, they weren't really coming after you. And now, your energy is really giving off this vibe of the release so strongly that now um, they're beginning to think about everything and really feeling the pain of your absence or of you just moving away from this. Let's see the Ace of Swords. forgot we also had the Wheel of Fortune here. So yeah, this is all about them wishing that things were different. This is how it's coming through to me. Um, possibly wanting to make a change here. But then we have the Devil. Let's see what else. Judgment and Justice. Wow. Okay, so a lot of major arcana here for this person. So this is really affect affecting them a lot. Um, they're, they're very much affected by you moving on and releasing them. Um, they definitely want to take action here. Definitely. Big time. They want to come back and make things right. They want a reconciliation with you. But we also have the devil here. So there's something that is keeping them from doing that. And I feel like it's either going to be a fear. Because like I said, it's like they're feeling very pessimistic about what the result will be or about maybe how you will respond to them. And then for some of you, I feel like, you know, even if they take this action, there's still that whatever issue there was between the two of you, I'm not so sure that it's going to be 100% resolved, at least not just yet, all right, with the devil. But I do see them wanting to, wanting to correct that, all right, having judgment and justice here. So... The issue might still be there, but their intention is to, to correct that and to make a change and to make things right. I feel like they now, with, that, with this judgment here, now they're having that um, revelation of what it is that's been going on. And if you were in contact, now they're understanding what it is that you were trying to resolve before. It got to this point. All right, so let's see what is actually coming up here. Let's see the King of Cups. All right, the King of Cups again. The Fool and the Knight of Swords. All right, someone's taking action here. This could be them. Um, because I feel like you're already in this action, so this definitely could be them taking a leap of faith here, um, being impulsive and just really coming after you. I mean, this is very, very action-based here with the Fool and the Knight of Swords and then having the King of Cups twice. This is a lot of love. Um, 
it could be your person, but at the same time, I feel like it might be you just um, following your heart and really being in your power here and just moving away from, from the situation. Let's see. Let's see the King of Swords. And I'll come back to this and see what it feels like. All right. The Ace of Swords, the Hierophant, and Temperance. All right, okay. This is definitely your person here then. All right, because we have the Ace of Swords showing up, which which was in their energy as well. So, yeah, this is them wanting to take action here, wanting um, to bring about some kind of a balance in the connection between the two of you, wanting to heal whatever it is that has happened. And, you know, I mean, that's the thing that sometimes... I mean, I don't know if it's too late for you. It, you know, that's going to be up to you for each of you individually. But um, it just feels like a lot of the times some people don't come around trying to finally try to resolve a situation until it's already too late. And I feel like for some of you that might be the case here. At least for now. Let me see the sun. Clarifying the sun, we have the seven of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the chariot. All right, wow. Like I said, there's a lot of action here. I feel like this person's going to come back in um, very, very strongly. And I feel like it's going to be at a point in time when you're not even expecting it. Um, you're going after your happiness. I feel like you are trying, you are in the process of releasing, you are concluding this. And I feel like you're doing a good job of that. And then this person's coming back in, really trying to put things in order between whatever, whatever happened with you. And I see them being serious here. I mean, having both the Hierophant and then the Ten of Pentacles, this is happening quick. Um, this is a lot of action because they feel like their happiness is with you, whereas you are on your own path here. But it's going to be up to you. Let's see the Queen of Swords. I like that message. Ooh, all right. We have the Page of Cups, the Tower, and the Nine of Wands. All right. I feel like the message here is that, first of all, you're very firm. You're, you know, you're seeing things clearly. And I'm getting that the message here is for you to continue to be in that type of an energy. Um, I'm not saying to not accept this person if they come around. I'm not saying that at all. I'm say because we have the Page of Cups, so that's being open to it. All right, that is being open to it. But I'm also getting that you're being asked to not forget the struggle and what it is that had happened, you know, to kind of be sure that things really have changed. Has a tower moment really occurred for them in order for there to be a new beginning? Because if not, I feel like this Nine of Wands, that's going to be, you know, like the continuation of this is that it's going to continue to be a struggle until there has been some major um, transformation here for them. And I do see them wanting that. I definitely see them wanting that. But I'm also seeing that you're being asked here to have that discernment. To know. All right, Cancer. So if this was resonating, let's get your final Oracle message. And again, I mean, I feel like you're gonna know. I feel like you're you're standing in that, and, and I know that's not that's not an energy typical of Cancer, but I feel like you're just really being very discerning. You're being firm and you're demanding your self-respect at the moment. You have found that within yourself. It's been difficult. It's definitely been a bumpy ride for you, but, but you're in that energy. So let's see. Answer. All right, you know what? I'm going to get one more. All right, see, this is interesting. So we have honeymoon, and this is actually, 
you were the first sign that I actually pulled two of these um, cards for at the end. I just felt that there was something there. So we have honeymoon and we have separation. So here's the thing. Um, it really is up to you to make that discernment. All right, when this person comes back, number one. And number two, you know, a lot of times a honeymoon does follow a, a separation. So if you feel like, you know, um, this is your soulmate, this is who you're meant to be with, you know, just give it some time. Give it some time because through a separation, that is when you can really sometimes see things more clearly and certain things can be resolved, all right, to get into that honeymoon type of a feeling. So, yeah, that's it. So, Cancer, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.